enter through the narrow gate for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction and many enter through it but small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life and only a few find it. I am Pastor Bridget Ogbefo inviting you to join me every Friday at 6 a.m on the Tobago Inspirational Network for Gateway to Life, where we explore the Word of God through the help of the Spirit of God. I bring you greetings in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Gateway to Life and I am Bridget Ogbeifon and you are welcome to this awesome season. I know there is a reason why God has preserved you and I and we ought to show gratitude to God for what he does, what he keeps doing and what he will do in our lives. And for that reason, I want us to just bow our heads and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this beautiful day that you have made. Thank you for this awesome season that you have brought us into. My Lord and my King, I pray, oh God, that every good thing that you have earmarked for us, Lord, that we shall have them in the mighty name of Jesus. As we come with thanksgiving in our heart, as we say, Lord, we are grateful for what you have done. We are grateful for the things that you are doing. We are grateful for the things that you will do. Father, every soul watching or hearing the sound of my voice, I thank you because you are taking them from where they are to where they ought to be, even in this season, in the mighty name of Jesus. As we go into your word, sweet Holy Spirit, interpret your word to us, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, teach us your word. Teach us the word of God in a way that we will understand in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty and everlasting God, I pray lifting up this vessel, Tobago Inspiration and Network into your hand, that you continue to lift this establishment from height to height in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I give you all the praise and all the glory. Take authority over every devourer that steals the word. We come against them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name I've prayed. Amen. Again you are welcome to Gateway to Life. Today as led by the Spirit of God I want to bring a word your way that God has dropped in my spirit to encourage you. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you are watching from. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know where you have been. I don't know where you at. I don't know where, what your fears are. I don't know what your uh, uh, desires are. I don't know what you're looking unto God for. But God will have me tell you today, delay is not denial. So the topic we are looking at today, delay is not denial that is what we want to look at today by the help of the spirit of god we know delay you know i try to look up the meaning of that word delay and it says it is a period of time by which something is late or postponed and i try to look up some biblical meanings and it tells me that it means to defer it means to postpone it means to suspend it means to pause so i don't know whatever you may be experiencing in life right now you know that depicts any of these words that have been used here but i've come to tell you today even though you have been delayed even though you have suffered setback even though you may have been deferred even though you have made some things may have been suspended even though it may experience that you are like on pause right now even though something that you ought to have gotten seem to be postponed or seem to be out of reach i've come to tell you that god will not deny you it will still come as we go straight into the scriptures we have for today we're looking at habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3 and that's delay is not denial is what we are looking at today by the help of the spirit of god habakkuk chapter 2 habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3 look at what the scripture says it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. 
hallelujah that's what the scripture says the bible says that the vision your desires those things that you have written down bible says it's for an appointed time it says a time that god knows about the bible says that though it may tarry though it may seem delayed though it may seem deferred though it may seem postponed though it may seem on pause though it may seem on hold though it may seem out of reach the bible says wait for it because it will surely come so i don't know who i'm speaking to today i don't know the things that you have believed god for i don't know the prayers that you may have said in your closet i don't know how long you may have been saying those prayers and the more you pray the farther the answer seems from you i have come to tell you today though you may be delayed though your answers may be delayed you are not denied because the word of god says in habakkuk 2 uh, habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3 he says for the vision for those your desires for those things you have written for those things you are trusting god for he says it's for an appointed time he says by the end he shall speak he says because it will surely come it will not tarry i want to quickly um marry that to another scriptures in exodus chapter exodus chapter 3 and from verse 7 hallelujah we are looking at delay is not denial we want to see what the bible says in exodus chapter 3 hallelujah exodus chapter 3 verse 7 and verse 8 look at what the bible says it says and the lord said i have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in egypt and i've heard their cry by reason of their tax masters for i know their sorrows look at verse 8 it says and i am come down to deliver them out of the land of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey unto the place of Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hevites and the Jebusites. look at what the scripture says here the Bible made me to understand perhaps the children of God were like in that position that you may be in right now they were so engrossed in their sufferings they were so engrossed you know in their discomfort they were so ill or engrossed in that unpleasant situation that probably they didn't see any horizon they didn't see any light at the end of the tunnel but while they were going through that the Almighty himself knew about their pains he knew about their distresses he knew about their, 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 their he knew about their, their tears their sorrows and the Lord himself said he said I have seen the affliction of my people I have seen how you have been made to work hard i've seen how you have been put in that state of discomfort he said that he will take them out of that land into the place that flow with milk and honey dear friends i've come to tell you today delay is not denial the lord himself knows where you are at. he knows where you are going through i may not know your pastor may not know your spouse may not know your children may not know your friends may not know your loved ones may May not know your parents may not know but god knows where you are and the bible says that god that knows where you are he knows how to bring you from where you are to where you ought to be so dear friends the good news today whatever time you may be watching or hearing the sound of my voice is that there is hope for you is that there is no denial simply because you are going through a delay simply because you are going through what looks like an obstruction right now i have come to tell you god is preparing a land that flows with milk and honey for you god is preparing a place that is enlarged god is preparing a place you know a wealthy place for you and in due season in due season in due season it will take you to that your place let me quickly add a scripture to it hallelujah look at what the bible says in the book of galatians chapter 6 hallelujah the Bible made me to understand God knows how to take care of his own he said can a, a canal man as a canal man can your child ask for fish and you will give them serpent in no if a, 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 a natural man will not do that how much more our God look at what the Bible says in the book of Galatians look at what Galatians says hallelujah glory to God delay 
can never be denial God is working out something for you God is putting things together for your good God is connecting the doors he's putting in the missing puzzle pieces for your good just hold on why do you have to hold on look at what Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9 says it says and let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season will shall reap if we faint not if I understand English language a little bit it tells me that the only sin the only reason why you wouldn't reap is if you faint because the Bible says don't be weary in well-doing don't be weary in those prayers you are praying keep praying keep serving God keep going to those church services keep functioning in that department you are in your church keep giving those arms that you give keep being nice to your neighbors keep being of help to your friends sometimes it looks like when you have help to others when you need help nobody seems to be in your corner but I've come to tell you dear friends keep doing the things keep doing the things that you do Bible says in due season if you faint not it says you shall reap in due season if you do not give up you shall be elevated in due season if you do not give up you shall be promoted delay is not denial dear friend that is what I've come to tell you today your affliction has not come to stay but it has come to pass your affliction has not come to swallow you but it has come so that the name of the Lord will be glorified hallelujah your affliction has not come to see your end but you will see the end of that affliction hallelujah and i don't know who i'm speaking to right now i don't know who this word is for but the spirit of the lord is saying right now you are woman right dear you just lost a child you just lost a child and the doctors told you that that is your last chance the doctors told you that you cannot make any child anymore you know biologically you cannot carry any child anymore but the spirit of god is telling me to tell you try again the spirit of the lord is telling me to tell i don't know who it is he's telling me to tell you try Try again that he will glorify himself in your life. Thus says the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. So how do we now go about, uh, uh, you know, trusting God or believing him, you know, holding on to him at this time when it seems as if delay is denial, when it seems as if you have lost it. I've come to tell you the fact that you cannot see the things manifest now does not mean that God has not done it. The fact that you pray to God for a job and you have not even received any invitation for any job interview does not mean God has not answered that prayer, dear friends the fact that you are trusting God for a home and nobody seems to be seeing you nobody has come to propose in any way I've come to tell you dear people of God it does not mean that God has not heard your prayer you need to hold on a little bit more you need to just hold it right there a little bit more because the Bible made me to understand clearly in the book of Daniel chapter 10 Daniel chapter 10 from verse 10 to 13 there about I believe Bible made me to understand even when Daniel prayed when he, he, he stood you know he, he, he consecrated himself for 21 days Bible says there was something called the Prince of Persia that withstood the answer to his prayer people of God may I remind you that right from the first day he started to pray the, the Lord himself released the answers to those prayer but the Prince of Persia withheld that prayer it made it look as if that that he was already denied of the answers of his prayers but I've come to tell you today he was only delayed that didn't mean that God has not made available all that he needs all the requests he made it may be the same thing you are going through today it may be that you have fasted you have prayed you have waited on the Lord you have trusted God for a particular thing and the more you pray since nothing is working dear friends I've come to tell you that God is working out something for you God is working on something for you but are you willing to speak to your prince of Persia to release the answers of your prayer are you in your 21st day have you gone through pain and turmoil and travail you got to stand your ground you have to not be weary in doing well you have to speak to your prince of Persia and command them to release your good hallelujah 
So what are the reasons why we may experience delay? Sometimes we have prayed. Sometimes we have trusted God. God says, give, you have given. God says, wait upon him. You have waited upon him. You are living a holy life. You are studying the word. You are doing the things you ought to do. But yet it seems you are not getting the answers at the times you want them. What are the reasons? Number one, probably God is trying to tell you that you must hold on to your faith. God is telling you like we just saw in Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9 God is saying do not be weary in well doing do not chicken out do not throw in the towel do not give up on me God is probably trying to test the weight of your faith God is trying to probably see how established you are how rooted you are in him and so that is why sometimes you may pray it seems as if nothing is coming out it seems as if nothing is happening God may be speaking that language to you to say my sister my daughter my my son, Sela, pause and think. Look at the things that you have done. Are you following my path? Number two, probably God wants you to test your armor. Hallelujah. God probably will delay the things that you are asking for because he wants you to be sure of your armor. He wants you to be sure of the things that you are going into battle with. Like recorded in 1 Samuel chapter 17. Hallelujah. Let's quickly see what the Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 17. Hallelujah. And verse 37. Glory to God. God probably wants you to be sure of what you are doing. Look at what it says in 37. David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the power of the lion and out of the power of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto, and so, uh, uh, and he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. Verse 38. And Saul armed David with his armor, and he put on an helmet of brass upon his head. Also he armed him with a coat of mail, and David guarded his sword upon his armor. And he had said to go, for he had not proved it. <laughs> he had not proved it. For he had not proved it. Look at that. And and David said unto Saul, I cannot go with this Matoli Bakayaba, for I have not proved them. And David put them off him. Dear friends, I've come to tell you today, sometimes the battle you have ahead in life, you must be sure of the power of the, of the weapons that you are using. You must be sure of the weapons that you are taking into battle. No wonder scripture says, for the weapon of our warfare are not carnal. It says, but they are mighty to God, to the pulling down of strongholds. David here was clearly stated. He says, Tall, I know you have given me all this armor. I know you have given me all these gadgets, but I cannot go into the battle of life with this because I have not proven this gadget. So dear friends, probably, perhaps, the reason why it seems as if you are facing delay, probably God is is telling you to take another look at your weapons. Probably God is telling you to take another look at the things that you are putting on to face this battle of life. Probably God is telling you look at your qualification again. Probably God is causing that delay in that job because he wants you to go and do that one more course that you have been deferring. Probably God is delaying having you having those children because there is a medical condition that you need to fix before you even go into pregnancy. Probably God is causing that delay in you meeting that spouse of your uh, the desires of your heart because God wants you to fix certain things concerning your life. He will not deny you. So we are looking at the reasons why he, delay could be permitted by God. Hallelujah. Another thing that could cause delay, probably God could be delaying because his ways are different from yours. 
The things you think you need right now and now, God who sees the end from the beginning would have seen that if you get that car now, the car you are trusting God, God knows that in less than three months you will crash with that car and die. Probably God sees ahead of you. He knows the things that you cannot handle. He knows the things that you will not be able to maintain. Probably God is seeing it. You want to get into that college as soon as possible but God knows that if you get in now you will not last one semester the reasons why God causes delay or allows delay probably he wants to show you that my way is different from your ways I see the end from the beginning I see the beginning from the end look at what the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55 Isaiah chapter 55 we're talking of the reason, the possible reasons why God may allow delay. Firstly, we said God may allow delay, you know, because he's trying to tell you, you know, that he wants you to demonstrate your faith in him. Another reason why he may, be, he may allow delay, because he wants to test, he wants you to test your armor. He wants you to be sure of, the, of your armor. And thirdly, we are saying God could allow delay because he just wants to prove to you that his ways are different from your ways. Look at what the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55. And I will take the read from verse 8. It says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens, hallelujah, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and runneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. Verse 11, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. So sometimes God may allow delay in despite all your sweating, despite all your agony, despite all your several hours in the place of prayer, despite your prayer and fast, God might allow delay because he just wants to let you know that his ways are different from his, your ways. Hallelujah. Another reason God may allow delay, God may allow delay because he makes all things beautiful in his season. It makes all things beautiful in a season. It makes all things beautiful in a season. Dear friends, dear brother and sister, I don't know what you think. By now, some of you are even giving up. You say, I have prayed too long. I have waited too long. I have trusted too long. I don't think I can go any further. I want to tell you today, God makes things beautiful in a season. God makes things beautiful in a season as recorded in Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Hallelujah. We are talking about Ecclesiastes chapter 3. We are talking about the fact that God makes all things beautiful in his season. So sometimes you may be trusting him for a particular thing. He knows that he doesn't want anything short of the best for you. Because the Bible made us to understand in Jeremiah 29, it says that I know the thought that I have towards you. They are thought of good and not of evil. The latter part says to give you an expected end. Another version says to give you a future and a hope. Look at what the Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 11. God may allow delay because he makes all things beautiful in his season. Look at what it takes. Hallelujah. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning of the earth. But the A part is where I'm going. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Even plants, every fruit have their own duration. The time that you will, uh, that you will plant a, a, a particular CB and the time it start body, it's not the same time another uh, fruit will take. So where God is taking you to, the depth 
of the grounds he wants you to gain in life may be a determinant factor of how long you would have to wait. Some of you are trusting God to be settled in marriage. And you are there looking at your age. But God knows. He said, you see this, my daughter, if she gets married at the age of 25, she's going to have a miserable home. She's going to be unhappy for another 70 plus years of her life. But if I keep her, I will prepare that man for her. I will prepare that vessel that will be a, 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 a perfect match for her. She could get married at 40. She could get married at 50 and go on to have blissful years in marriage. So God may be causing that delay as painful as it may seem to you. Because he wants to make it beautiful for you. Hallelujah. He wants to make it beautiful for you. Hallelujah. You could, you could only, you, 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 while you are waiting, while you are trusting God, while you are believing him for what you are believing him for, I want you to know your tears cannot change God. Your tears cannot make God make things happen faster than he wants them to be for you. Your tears cannot move the hand of God. Yet we serve a God who is not, you know, unobservant or, you know, of our afflictions. You remember one of the scriptures we read? In Exodus, he says, I have seen the affliction of my people. God sees your tears. God sees your pain. God sees those things that you go through in your closet. And you know what? He says that it will come in due season if you do not faint. So God will not be moved by your, by your tears. God will not uh, be forced, you know, uh, because you are sad. God is moved by the things that go on on your inside. He's not like man that looks at the outward, outward appearance and the outward actions. He looks at your heart. He looks at the things that you do on your inside. So I've come to tell you today, while it seems you are being delayed, do not throw in the towel. Do not curse God. Do not begin to do the things you ought not to do. But keep holding on. Keep holding on tight. Because God has something beautiful that he wants to do for you. My dear friend. And I don't know who you are that I may be speaking of, that I may be speaking to. I don't know what you are trusting God for. I've come to tell you, while I just said that God is not, you cannot coerce God to walk because you are crying. Yet God is, he, he sees your cry. He sees your tears. As a matter of fact, it's okay to cry. Sometimes when you are going through difficult situations, when things seem all backs seem to be torn at you. It's okay to cry. It's okay sometimes, you know, to ask what exactly is going on. God understands. God sees our frailty. God sees our, he, he knows our infirmity. But dear friends, what I've got to tell you, it shouldn't just end in that area of crying. It shouldn't just end with your asking questions. You have to go further. Bible says that this kingdom, it says the kingdom suffered violence. And it is only the violent that can take it by force. Some of the things that you are trusting God for, you would have to be violent in the place of prayer. You would have to be violent in the place of the world. You would have to be violent, you know, to take these things up by force. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Hallelujah. So you have to hold your peace even in the time of turmoil, even in the times of trouble, even in the times of difficulties. You have to hold on. You have to hold your peace. You have to let God perfect whatever it is he would have started in your life. Hallelujah. You cannot conquer spiritual matters by physical fight. I always say. So dear friends, I will be, I will be wrapping it up there today. I 
I just want you to go in this confidence knowing delay is not denial. It might seem as if you are not getting the things you are asking for right now. From the points that I would have mentioned before now, God may be allowing you to go through those pains and those delays because he wants to give you the best. He wants to make things right and beautiful for you. And until I come back next time, I want you to remain in this confidence that God loves you and he has good plans for you. And until I come back, shallow. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it, but small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. I am Pastor Bridget Ogbefo, inviting you to join me every Friday at 6 a.m on the Tobago Inspirational Network for Gateway to Life where we explore the Word of God through the help of the Spirit of God.